Nancy Fetzer's Sentence Building. Lesson number 11, learning about proper nouns. For this lesson, you will need the proper nouns worksheet, number one and number two, the proper nouns chart, a pencil, a blue crayon, and the red crayon. We are ready to begin. Today is our third grammar lesson. In this lesson, we will learn about proper nouns and how to capitalize them in our sentences. What are proper nouns? Proper nouns are special nouns because they are the names of living things, places, or things. They can replace nouns, but only nouns that have a name. Why are names or proper nouns important? Names are important because they tell exactly who or what the living thing, place, or thing is. Since proper nouns are names, they are always capitalized. Here is our chart to help us learn what nouns are proper nouns. At the top are living things and places. On the bottom is things. Under living things is a picture of a boy named Max and a dog named Rover. Those are their names. Because Max and Rover are names, they are proper nouns, and the first letter of these words are capitalized. Under places is the picture of a school named Woodlake School and a map of a country named the United States of America. Both are proper nouns and capitalized because they are the names of places, the name of a school and the name of a country. Under things, there is a turkey holding a sign that shows the word Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving is the name of a holiday. Holidays are proper nouns and always capitalized. Next to the turkey is a calendar with the name of the month, November, and names for the days of the week, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. The names of months and days are proper nouns and always capitalized. We have learned that proper nouns are special types of nouns because they tell the names of living things, places, or things. Next, we will practice finding proper nouns and checking that they are capitalized. Get into writing position, grab your blue crayon, and have your red crayon ready to use. Place the proper nouns chart next to the proper nouns worksheet number one. The worksheet shows lists of common nouns and of proper nouns. We will read different words, then check the proper nouns and trace their capital letters red. Go to the first two words. Boy, Michael. Both are living things or nouns, but which one is a name, a proper noun? Michael. Michael is the name of the boy. Check Michael with a blue crayon. Then trace the capital M with a red crayon. Go to the next pair, cat, 
Chester. Both are living things or nouns, but which one is a name, a proper noun? Chester. Check Chester with a blue crayon, then trace the capital C with a red crayon. This is fun. Let's go faster. Park, Disneyland. These are both places, but Disneyland is the name of the place, the name of the park. Check Disneyland and trace the capital D with a red crayon. Country, Mexico. Both are nouns because they are places. But Mexico is the name of a place. Of a country. Check Mexico and trace the capital M with your red crayon. Holiday, Christmas. Christmas is the proper noun because it is the name of a holiday. Check Christmas and trace the capital C with your red crayon. Day, Friday. Friday is the proper noun because it's the name of a day. Check Friday and trace the capital F. Wow, we identified all the proper nouns. Proper nouns are special nouns because they tell the names of living things, places, and things. Excellent job! Now that we know what proper nouns are, we then can use them to make better sentences. Get into writing position. Have your pencil, red and blue crayons ready, and place the proper nouns worksheet number two in front of you. This worksheet shows two sentences we will use to replace nouns with proper nouns. Go to the first sentence and follow along as I read. The boy rode on the ride at the amusement park. Stop! Stop! This sentence may sound fine to you, but we will turn it into an amazing sentence by replacing some nouns with proper nouns so the reader will have a more detailed picture in their mind as they read. Proper nouns are very important words because they provide exact details or paint an exact picture of who or what is in our sentences. How do we replace these common nouns with proper nouns? We read the sentence backwards to find the nouns and check them. Park. Check it. That's a place. A place is a noun. Amusement. Amusement describes the type of park, so it is not a noun. Move on. The. Move on. At. Move on. Ride. In this sentence, ride is a thing because the boy is on the ride. So it is a noun. Check it. The. Move on. On. Move on. Road. Move on. Boy. That's a noun. A living thing. Check it. The. Move on. Let's read the nouns in our sentence. Boy, ride, and park. Those are nouns. They tell who or what are in the sentence. Oh, no! Boy, ride, and park are common nouns. The boy can be any boy. The ride can be any ride. The park can be any park. Next, we will go back and change these common nouns into proper nouns 
by telling the name of the boy, the name of the ride, and the name of the park to create a better sentence. We will also remove any words that tell about or describe these common nouns. We will also capitalize all the proper nouns with a red crayon because they are names. For boy, we need a proper noun. The name of the boy in this sentence is Michael. Cross out the boy. The goes with boy. So we cross out both. And above it, write Michael. Trace the capital M with a red crayon to check that you capitalized Michael because it's a name, a proper noun. <laughs> wow! When you read this sentence, you will not picture any boy in your mind. Instead, you will only see Michael because we used his name. This is so much fun. We are adding more details to our sentence by using names, proper nouns. Excellent! Let's change more nouns into proper nouns. Go to the next noun we checked. Ride. The name of the ride in this sentence is Space Mountain. Cross out the ride. The goes with ride. So we cross out both. And above it, write Space Mountain. Then trace the capital S in space and the capital M in mountain because that's the name of the ride. It's a proper noun. Oh my goodness, our sentence has so much detail because we are using proper nouns. When someone reads our sentence, they will not see any ride. They will see in detail the Space Mountain Ride. This is amazing how proper nouns make sentences have more details. Yay! Let's change the last noun, park, to the specific name of the park, Disneyland. Disneyland is a proper noun because it's the name of the park. Cross out the amusement park. The amusement describes the type of park. They all go together, so we cross them out. Write Disneyland above it. Then trace the capital D in Disneyland because it's a name a proper noun. Fantastic! Changing nouns into proper nouns give readers more details in sentences. We started with the sentence, the boy rode on the ride at the amusement park. After changing the common nouns to proper nouns, we now have Michael rode on Space Mountain at Disneyland. The revised sentence is better because the names tell exactly who or what to picture in our minds. Readers will specifically see Michael on the Space Mountain ride at Disneyland. Proper nouns are amazing. That was fun. We're becoming proper noun experts. Go to the second sentence on our worksheet. Follow along as I read. The girl played with the toy in her room. Stop! Stop! This sentence needs more details. Let's make this sentence come alive in the reader's mind by changing the common nouns to proper nouns. First, we check the nouns. 
Remember, we will read the sentence backwards to find and check the nouns. We're only looking for the common nouns. Room. Check it. That's a place. A place is a noun. Her. Move on. In. Move on. Toy. Check it. That's a thing. A thing is a noun. The. Move on. With. Move on. Played. Move on. Girl. That's a living thing. Girl is a noun. Check it. The. Move on. Girl, toy, and room are common nouns in this sentence. Next, we will change these common nouns to proper nouns only if they have names. Girl. In this sentence, our girl is going to be Megan. Cross out the girl. They go together and write Megan above it. Then trace the first letter with a red crayon to check that you have capitalized the M because Megan is the girl's name. The next noun is toy. Guess what? Megan is not playing with any toy. She is playing with Legos. Legos is the name of a toy. Cross out the toy. They go together. And write Legos above it. Then use your red crayon to trace the capital L in Legos because it's the name of a toy. Wow! By using the proper nouns, the reader gets a clear picture of Megan playing with Legos. Fantastic! Proper nouns are powerful words because they help the reader see more details. The last common noun is room. Megan's room does not have a name, so we cannot replace it with a proper noun. Let's listen to both sentences. We started with, The girl played with the toy in her room. After changing some of the common nouns in this sentence, we now have, Megan played with Legos in her room. Super job! The second sentence helps the reader see a more exact and detailed picture by using proper nouns. Wow! That was fun! In this lesson, you learned about proper nouns, special types of words that take the place of nouns. We use the proper nouns chart to remember that proper nouns tell the exact names of living things, places, and things, and that proper nouns need to be capitalized. We also learn to replace common nouns with proper nouns to add more details to our sentences. Great job! After you finish your homework practice page, then you will be ready for lesson number 12, verbs, the action words.